So let's talk about ultra low cost organic farming. Please repeat after me. Take it and use it. Follow me. Wow, so easy. So from now on, I'm going to explain what is ultra low cost organic agriculture. Suppose you have time to read all the books that professors read in graduate school for three years. So after reading all that, will you be able to organize what exactly is agriculture in your head? But it's quite impossible. There may be such expectation, but you will feel unorganized and more complex. Agriculture specialty books are written based on various paper, but who supports the research fund of the thesis? Mostly corporations. But why does corporations fund research? to promote their product. It is virtually impossible to understand agriculture through books compiled with the papers designed for profits of the corporations. It is like believing in religion. The more sacred book you read, the more confusion you get. So ladies and gentlemen, you don't need to learn complicated skill. Instead, all you need to learn is just these four things in agriculture. Raise your hand and repeat after me. Soil management, base fertilizer, additional fertilizer, Pesticide. If you know these four, then agriculture is no longer difficult. These four things may sound difficult, but actually it is not. First, I will explain soil management. So what is soil management? Erase all the skills that you learned so far. Remember this one thing, then you will realize how easy all these are. So raise your hand and repeat after me. What is visible represents what is invisible. Am I right? And this is common sense we all know. And this is the most important principle of soil management. Raise your hand again and repeat after me. What is visible represents what is invisible. So what can you do to make your fruit tree to bloom more flower? Don't think about complicated things like hormones. It is very simple. If you have a lot of new roots, many new flower buds will appear. Am I right? If you notice this effect, then why do you keep asking for complicated hormone methods? When the new roots are well extended, the crop can absorb more moisture, more nutrient, and more minerals. That means the new flower buds will form to bloom. And when the fertilization is well done, then the fruit grows well. Do you agree? It's very simple and we know it all. To create a lot of new flower buds above the ground, many roots should be spread beneath the ground. So you need to clear your mind from existing knowledge and focus on this one simple technique. Raise your hand again. What is visible represent what is invisible. So just complete this soil management first, then pay attention to other complex problem later. It is literally ridiculous to add some other complicated technology without even solving any basic problems like soil management. I'm sorry to tell you this, but please forget about what you have learned in the past. And how can we do that? Just walk along with the simple wisdom of nature. But there are several problems in soil management, and that is the soil temperature. Farmers often put black plastic mulch because of grass in order to avoid using herbicide. But because of the global warming, the temperature of Korea raised up to 40 Celsius degree during last summer. Even Philippines is not this hot during their summer. This plastic mulch is highly increasing the temperature of the soil in summer. Please touch your belly. The average human body temperature is 37.2 degrees. But in what temperature will human die? Just rise of 3 degrees will be fatal. Just how human body is sensitive to temperature, crops are also sensitive to temperature. If we know this fact, then how are we going to deal with May, June, July, August, September and October and during the night, the temperature drops even more. The temperature of the soil beneath the plastic is very high. Remember old pepper farming? Without any special skills, the pepper were harvested until the frostfall. But now, have you ever seen a farm that can harvest till frostfall? None, right? So after the Green Revolution, there are a lot of agriculture materials, a lot of pesticides, a lot of books, a lot of technical information. So what? We are not even able to achieve better results in the past. During the old days, when there was no plastic mulch, the soil did not heat up and the root of the pepper went down 1.5 meter under the soil. So farmers could not pull the pepper after harvest, so they had to cut pepper trees with the sickle. And now what? The roots are too short, anyone can pull out the plant. Looking at this fact, we must realize the importance of the soil temperature. But farmers trying to add something more without realizing this fact, just like this. And seriously, Farmers shouldn't farm in this way. 
This is insane. Is there anyone who farms like this? Please repeat after me. Fireball. How can someone farm with fireball around them? I know this kind of plastic mulching will reduce weeds, but it increases the temperature of the soil. Just as our body is sensitive to temperature, you should know that crops are also temperature sensitive. This is not what farming is supposed to be. It's so much wrong. This seems it's well organized, but let me tell you, it's not gonna work. Please repeat after me. Geothermal management is the key in summer. This should be noted that the crop is temperature sensitive just like us. So alternative to just plastic mulch, I represent similar material but very different function. It's called landscape fabric. The domestic landscape fabrics are reusable for about 7 years, made in USA and Germany guaranteed up to 20 years. And recently 25 years warranty products have been released from 3M. And the price of foreign products are about twice more compared to domestic. The characteristic of landscape fabric is that it ventilates air and moisture, so the temperature of the soil won't increase. This fabric can last about 20 years, which is similar to solar panel. This is how I can achieve high yield. The harvest is about 3 to 4 times higher than conventional farm. And there are no special skill. All you need is managing the soil temperature. And there is second problem in soil management, which is the formation of the soil compaction. Please repeat after me. What is visible represents what is invisible. The heavy tractors move over the soil and crush the soil. Eventually, the soil hardens with two or three times using a year. And farmer prefers larger machines over smaller machines. This simple costly behavior makes soil layers even harder. As heavy machinery is used over and over again, the soil becomes very hard. And soil compaction is serious problem. If you look at this screen, the soil is almost like a rock. Soil without using agricultural machinery is very soft. Furthermore, here's what the soil compaction can cause. Soil that do not have compacted layer will continue to have crop roots. But soil with compacted layers will stop the roots spreading deep beneath the soil. So what happens to a crop when roots are not well spread? For example, in compacted soil, even if the soil is rich in nutrient, the new shoots of pepper will no longer appear and it won't appear even after the summer passes. That means there are not going to be flower or any fruit. But it is true that farming becomes much more convenient when machine is used. However, we have to think that large machine generates the compact layers that drastically reduce yield. Do you all agree with this? So this is the current situation that conventional agriculture cannot avoid because of chemical fertilizer and chemical pesticide and herbicide are continued to be injected into this layer every year, which leads soil to be seriously polluted. Then the roots of the crop will not be able to grow normally as you can see in the picture. In the case of greenhouse farming, it's even worse. You have to leave the land after about 5 years of farming because of contamination. So even if the working hours of farming is extended, you need to switch to a lighter machine. Because this will create less compaction on soil and furthermore, yield will be increased. If it is a 1 to 2 hectare size of the land, smaller and lighter machines are very enough to cover the area. 8 hours of labor is enough to do this job done. As you can see, there are small tractors in the market, but these are not in good sale. So I asked them why. And they told me that farmers love to show off their big tractor to other farmers. But to be honest, farmers that use heavy machinery have more debt. But these days, half of the farmers are spending their government subsidies on farming equipments. But truth is that all those big machines owners are struggling to pay their debts. When you inevitably have to use farm machinery, then try to avoid space where the roots of the crop will extend. And this is also very important for greenhouse farming too. So let me ask you, is soil tillage necessary? No. From my own experience and research, without tilling soil actually benefits the crop and increase the yield. So I'll teach you how I was able to achieve high yield without tilling soil and by utilizing microbial solution used potatoes in fourth hour. My farm is about one acre and I have never used a tilling machine for five years. 
This little aluminum rack is enough to cover the area. And do you know why? Because even without the tillage, with continuous use of microvial solution, the soil is soft. So there's no reason for me to use the machine. And I'll teach you how it is possible with the microvial solution in the next hour.